heard that some records were gonna get broken and that we were gonna fly a giant manned racing drone. I have not seen anything comparable to the manned drone. Uh, I was absolutely blown away just from the finish and also the thought put into it to make it a reality. It's sending new way to, to think about drones. We are here hanging out with the Drone Champions League, testing and also unveiling their first manned full acro aerobatic quad, or people call them drones. It was really difficult to make running 12 motors of this size. This drone is not a five inch, as I said, it's like a, as big as uh, my car. It's like a five meter drone. The PID tuning has to be done in the proper way. So if the PIDs are too low, then the drone is not gonna respond to my controls. If they are too high, it's gonna respond too much. And the risk here is not breaking a five euro propeller, but it's breaking a huge man drone. We basically designed the whole thing around the Formula One monocoque. From that, we basically also invented the, the small canopy for the DCL season last year. Good start, out of the blocks, now heading to the McDonald's gate. That's a problem for Apex. And he roars in the win, which guarantees it, plays maximum points of the drone free to Liechtenstein. Basically, we started uh, with very small drones, it was super fast and nobody could really follow. And so we made it bigger and then bigger and then people said it's still too small and that's why we said, okay, now let's make a, a really big one where you potentially you can also uh, then have manned drone racing at one day. And there it is. First impressions, I was super stoked how it looked. It looked like a Formula One car in the sky. So that's what I was excited about with the bodywork and, and just the aesthetics of how it looked. It's sketching me out big time. It is huge, it is loud, it is intense. Uh, the amount of power that this thing has is just like, unlike anything I've ever seen. And I've seen some pretty like big sketchy flying things. And this is one of the craziest I've ever seen for sure. <laughs> the goal was basically to make flying available for everybody. And so that whole idea came to life that people can actually do it first through a game. So you start with the game and if you get good and get hooked in the game and have really the skills to compete worldwide, then you have the chance to also sit in a cockpit like this one day. I played it like every day. I would clock out of work and I would stay longer at work to play the game and actually unlock all the levels. It's a, an awesome game and I, I enjoy it very much. So we released DCL the game on the 18th of February. And then we start the season basically with the draft selection, where the best 300 pilots out of the game get invited to London in the gaming sphere of Red Bull to be drafted from the DCL teams for this 2020 season. Finally, we go to Croatia. The first time we go in an open field in Croatia, we are gonna we're gonna send it. I mean, I want to do whatever I can with this drone and see the limit of it. So I'm looking forward for some nice acrobatics. I feel like this experience is honestly a new chapter of something for multi rotors. The drone behind me is 3.7 meters in diameter. It is about 120 or 140 kilos, it depends on the setup. It has 24 lightning polymer batteries, and it's very powerful.
we spent roughly at least one month full work on this drone. It's all carbon made, so it's a strong structure as well. And there was a long way towards here, not just for being in Switzerland and then coming to Croatia, but also, of course, it's a lot of testing by the technical point of view, mechanical point of view, electronic point of view. The vision was always that people learn to fly for real and can uh, qualify through a computer game. To, to be able to have kids go into the hobby and to aspire for bigger things is always a goal of flight test. To see them now aspire to actually fly a manned multi-rotor is absolutely incredible. The flight itself felt actually awesome, a little bit like helicopter flying. Impossible to describe, like an amazing feeling, absolutely. It, it makes me want to go forward and forward and forward and forward.